You paying attention yet? Because if you're not, you should be. Another week, another perfect slate, which means I'm six for six this year. To start things off, I'm looking at a matchup that I love. Game of the week and the Chiefs are giving Baltimore six and a half at home. While Lamar and the Ravens have looked legit to start the season, I think some regression is to be expected. Sure, they dropped 59 in the opener, but that was on the Dolphins, let's be real. But this is a different beast they're up against. Mahomes in Arrowhead. We've seen that Pat sometimes just needs minutes to activate the cheat code offense that they run. In the last three seasons, the Chiefs are 8-0 against the spread in September games. Book it. This is my lock of the week, Chiefs 29, Ravens 20. I avoid huge lines like I avoid Times Square during rush hour, so I'm staying away from those Cowboys and Pats games. But I'm feeling generous, so here's a bonus. I have both those teams winning and clearing their massive spreads. But for my cover of the week though, call me crazy. I'm riding the Daniel Jones hype train. The Buccaneers are favored by almost a tutty at home, and that makes sense. It's a rookie quarterback on the road. I get it. I still think Pat Shermer and the Giants are gonna scheme up a favorable game plan to highlight what Jones does well. Jones in stride and fine playmakers. Big Blue is gonna play Saquon hard to take the pressure off of Jones. I almost picked New York to win, but I'm not that crazy. Six and a half though, I think is too much. I've got Tampa taking it, but the Giants covering at 23 to 21. I hate huge lines, but I love taking the under when there's a bad offensive team down to his third string QB. The Jets and the Pats are looking at 44 points. I know, I know, Tom Brady and Antonio Brown and Josh Gordon and Sonny Michelle can get to 44 on their own, but I just don't see this game being that competitive at all. Sorry, Luke Falk, but if the Jets drop three on the Browns, it's hard to see them dropping anything more than 10 on the Patriots. All four of the last matchups between these two teams have gone under, and I like that trend to continue. I've got New England winning easily 33 to 6.